So one of the great ways inside of Google Docs to intertwine the experience is to utilize Google Calendar and Google Keep. Google Calendar is the primary Google service that allows you to access your calendar and Google Keep is your note taking service that's more of a personal experience and sort of is very much more for smaller notes versus Google Docs. Now, as you can imagine, there's a few ways you can connect them up and I'm going to show you in today's video and we're going to start out with Google Keep. So on this right hand side, you can naturally bring up any of the Google experiences and even additional add-ons which are available through the Google Workspace Marketplace. Now, as you can see here, this is perfect for taking notes and Google Keep is well known for being like the post-it notes for uh, your uh, web experience and also uh, on the side of Google. So as you can imagine, I can go ahead and take a note that's specifically related to this meeting. Now, as you can see here, it's actually attached the document that's relevant to it. So in this case, if I made some private notes that I don't necessarily want to share on this agenda, then I can do so. And in this case, I might say uh, notes for myself, um, feedback on latest videos, and I could press done. And that document is created. And as you can imagine, and as you can see here, the actual document associated to it is this one. So if I clicked into it from another document or another page, uh, or I wasn't on this, it will bring that up automatically. So that's perfect for being able to associate documents to notes as well. Now, one of the other things you can do with the Google Keep is if you're referencing something like a um, employee number, or maybe that's a bit too advanced bit of information, but just for this example, we'll show you, just add a random numbers in here. And you wanted to be able to save it as a note for later. If you right click, you can see down here that there's an option called save to keep. And as you can see here, that actual item is saved with the relevant document connected to it. So I could say here, employee number. Obviously you might not want to save that sort of information into your Google Keep just because even though it's very secure, um, it might not be suitable or refer uh, you know, example wise, it's just a, a, a demonstration. Now the thing that you can do is when you're creating a document and you don't necessarily have a meeting associated to it, you can do. So for example, if you're like, okay, this one, I, I'm prepared all that I can for this meeting, even though I haven't, <laughs> um, I can go ahead and create an event for it. And as you can see here, when you create the event and it's already got a title, um, it automatically populates that title. So up here, you can see that it's got the meeting notes editor. I can change it if I want to, because it might be slightly weird uh, for them to see that. But I can go ahead and attach the exact meeting notes and invite the relevant people and even create Google Meet video conferencing. So if I press save, you can now see that if I open this up, it's got meeting notes attached to it. And if I were to share that with that person, they'll get access to it too. So it's really handy to be able to do that inside of the sort of Google uh, calendar experience. So sort of bringing everything together and making it all relevant. So that's a little bit about how you can use Google Keep and Google Calendar to really optimize your Google documents. And as you can imagine, uh, Google Workspace just makes that easier and easier. Thank you very much, folks. I hope you enjoyed today's video. Let me know if you have any questions or comments. And if you're new here, please do subscribe. We do plenty of videos covering all of the ecosystem. So feel free to subscribe to this YouTube channel. Thank you very much, folks.